September 2016 and uh, looks like a beautiful day so I'm going to go and do some camping uh, up the KMP trail. I just wanted to for record's sake uh, to see how I was packing and here I've got GPS, uh, flashlight, uh, wallet, etc. And uh, I might put uh, also a spare batteries in there under the seat. I've got uh, food, water, um, a sweater. And that's just about as much as I can get in there. In the top box, I've got uh, more water in the canteen, uh, warm clothing, rain gear, and personal effects like books and uh, glasses, things like that. Uh, that'll close down in a second. Now, up on the seat, behind me, I will put this backpack. Um, this backpack, like so. And uh, then uh, tarps and sleeping bags. I'm not quite sure whether I'll take an extra sleeping bag because it might be cool tonight if so it's gonna be somewhat like that the gas can will go spare gas can will go here in front of me and I tie that uh, in the on the handle So we start off on our driveway, our laneway. Um, this is where I did most of my practicing when I first got the bike up and down this driveway until I got familiar with it. Turning around at the top here and going back down the driveway was the biggest challenge to start with. through the uh, small hamlet of Hood and this is as far as the dirt roads go around where I live anyway and uh, we're going to go on to Payup Road now see that gravel there, that is a particularly hazardous spot I've slipped and slid on that coming out of the gravel onto the paved road so you have to take it crazy going through there, something to remember, and something that always happens when you mix dirt and gravel roads with paved roads in the countryside. Here we're uh, going on to the 16, uh, going west toward Poland now, uh, town of Poland, that is. It's this beautiful country, they just uh, resurfaced this road not too long ago, so it's nice smooth right now. Um, this bike has a top speed of about 90 kilometers an hour. Um, with me anyway so far and uh, but the gas mileage is great I haven't figured out exactly what I'm getting per mile but um, I'll do that one of these days this is a nice little creek here in Easton Creek um, I've clocked minnows there many a time Like I said, it took me uh, a good many tries up and down the driveway until I got comfortable enough. And of course, my first uh, 
drive was on the gravel road, so I went really slow the first time. But uh, it didn't take me too long. I, uh, my first trip, uh, a couple of days after I got the bike, was uh, about, a, I don't know, maybe 100 kilometers. I uh, went up to Pakenham. Um, I believe I have some photographs at that time, uh, but I haven't taken any video yet. Anyway, once uh, once that trip was over, I uh, was getting very comfortable, and then um, I took the plunge and started to uh, commute to work. Um, my one-way drive in a car is an hour and a half. There's traffic uh, in two hours on the way home. And I find with the scooter, taking the back roads, I, you can't, uh, I don't want to go on a highway with this because it just can't get up to speed. Um, I uh, take about two hours to get to work. I take maybe a small break in between, maybe stop at Tim Hortons for a coffee. And uh, now it's starting to get later into the fall and it's getting colder so I actually stopped to warm up. Putting more and more layers on now. But that's in a later video, hopefully, if this one goes well and the response is uh, favorable. Here I am just arriving to the uh, public uh, municipal park uh, on Robertson Lake. We have many good memories of spending time here with the, the boys when they were growing up. There's a nice little beach here and very safe. And I've been fishing quite a few times in the uh, lake as well. Very nice place. They fixed it up quite nice, and I believe on the weekends during the summer they, they charge you admission for, for parking. But uh, during the week you can uh, you can just come here and have a picnic. And, and usually, uh, well this time of year there's nobody around. Uh, there are uh, some outhouses, some washrooms for use, which is nice. have a nice view of the lake as you, as you round the corners here. Very nice drive up through here. Lots of bends. As I get uh, more experience riding, um, I can see why there is so much uh, pleasure gained from doing these twisty roads.
So here we are arriving at um, Levan Station. It used to be a small, a larger town with a station, etc. And this is the old rail bed of the KMP railway that I'm on now. It used to, uh, well, the original thought was to go from Kingston to Pembroke, hence KMP. Um, the company, uh, the iron company that built it, uh, started in 1871, and uh, by 1884, uh, the line had been laid to Renford, but um, by that time there had already been a, uh, a line uh, laid between Renfrew uh, and Pembroke um, by another company, so the KMP ended in Renfrew. And then over the years, uh, the lumber, uh, timber industry and uh, mineral resources decreased. Um, the company had financial difficulties. Uh, there were mines all along this uh, route. Um, that was one of the main uh, uh, money makers for them. Uh, so uh, then they sold the whole track to the CPR. And uh, the CPR, I, I assume, we used it for a while between certain spots and then, uh, then closed it down. And once they lifted the rails, um, they turned it into a uh, a public trail. So in the uh, in the winter time, the uh, snowmobile clubs uh, take care of it. They groom it and uh, charge a uh, a small um, uh, permit fee for using it. But in the summertime, uh, fall and spring. Uh, you don't need a uh, permit and you can come on here with uh, you can walk, you can bike, you can drive see quite a few ATVs on here this area here used to be uh, the town of Folger uh, you see the, the barn we just past there that was one of the remnants of the uh, the town which used to have a train station store sawmill post office uh, school and uh, a whole bunch of homes here we are I'm showing uh, where the crown land that's the light color on the maps uh, is and where I was in relation to the uh, hydro lines that was a good way to know where the crown land started. Um, I was looking f basically for a place I could go off with the scooter. Uh, there were very few along the main trail when I hit the crown land because uh, it either went right straight down or or as you can see here it uh, went up a little bit and uh, the small wheels of the scooter just don't uh, don't go well in that kind of terrain. For the most part, the, uh, the the trail is really nice. Uh, there are potholes, of course. You can you can see the scooter bounce.